Khan Fike, who is the uh, hemp extension specialist at Virginia Tech. Uh, he took me under as his master's student, and we did a variety of studies centered around industrial hemp and um, basically can hemp be a suitable crop for farmers due to uh, the different diverse soil and climate conditions across the state of Virginia. So um, I've had the liberty over the years to uh, grow well over uh, 50 varieties of hemp from fiber, grain, and flour production um, all across the world. And just to see how those different varieties respond to Virginia's um, different different environments. So uh, I'm, sent, um, I'm mainly stationed here now, uh, now in uh, Christiansburg. And I'm also a co-owner of a uh, hemp based uh, slash wellness store uh, in Bradford, Virginia called Rise and Shine Botanicals. And I also act as a uh, consultant uh, for uh, this region specifically, uh, working, working with, with, with different growers. Um, so after I finished my master's degree, um, we started the consultant business. My, my business partner, James, uh, who was a volunteer under the research program uh, for a long time. And we were able to consult around 30 acres and grows from um, urban community gardens that we partnered up with Duran here, um, all the way to uh, eight, eight acre grows um, in Floyd County and um, down near uh, Petersburg as well too. Um, so uh, it's definitely been a blessing just to be able to work with farmers their first year and kind of um, hold their hand and make sure that they at least get a, a good crop that um, that they may could market uh, because as folks are hearing now there are a lot of farmers that are struggling um, selling their selling their hemp product and that's mainly because uh, most of the processors here in the state of Virginia are still um, are still in their early stages as far as getting through their building plans and getting their equipment in and, and um, and so um, it's it's been it's been a struggle for for most farmers, um, to be honest with you. But I do uh, do still see the potential with the CBD industry, and then also too for the future, I see the potential with um, us growing for fiber and for grain. And so um, just during this talk, you know, feel free to uh, stop me at any point if you have any questions. Um, but if we can, we can save all questions to the end. That'll be great. Um, but if you just got that question that you just got to get out, just just go ahead. We can make this a, a full blown discussion if you want. So for my folks that don't know what industrial hemp is, hemp uh, for many years was cultivated for its fiber and grain content just due to its nutritional benefits overall. However, in recent years we've seen uh, folks being more interested in growing for flower production or what we call um, hemp extract or CBD production. Um, regardless if you're growing for fiber, grain, or flower, uh, for a long time we've had this great debate on uh, total THC versus delta 9 THC. Uh, who is familiar with that debate that's going on right now? Okay, so we'll, we'll discuss that a little bit and how y'all can get involved with helping us with, um, with, with getting over that hurdle with the, with the USDA. But right now, currently as we speak, Virginia is a Delta 9 THC um, state. So we have to keep our varieties uh, less than 0.3% THC, and if it goes over that, that concentration, then it's considered marijuana. Um, However, we've seen that hemp is, is broadly adaptive and is uh, photoperiod sensitive, meaning that uh, these different varieties uh, from Canada, Ukraine, Italy, um, they will all flower at different times and you will harvest these plants at different times too as well. And that's just due to the, their natural photoperiods that they're, that they're used to. So if I bring a plant that's um, used to being in Canada, I bring it down to Virginia, that plant may grow 12 feet tall in Canada, mm -hmm. but that plant may only grow four to five feet tall here in Virginia. Mm -hmm. Versus if I get a plant that's on the same latitude as Virginia, say in Italy, and I can show you some examples, then uh, you could have plants that grow uh, 15 to 20 feet tall. <laughs> um, 
So, uh, and then um, fiber, fiber production is big because stalks can reach up to four inches in diameter. And I'll go a little bit over that um, as far as the difference between primary fiber and secondary fiber and um, what, what, what their uses are for. And um, we see that we, for fiber production and grain production, we have more high density plantings. And for uh, flower production, uh, we do more of a horticultural grow, uh, at least on the small on the small farm scale. You do see uh, big tobacco farms now. They're just uh, basically taking these hemp transplants and substituting it with uh, their tobacco transplants, and um, that's that's been uh, very successful for for some farmers. Uh, me personally, I like the horticultural experience with it. Um, you get, you just, it's, it's just more therapeutic to me. I, I don't know why. <laughs> and then um, lastly,